What's up, JT? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, all you have to do is click subscribe to join the family. Today I am gonna be trying more TikTok hacks that y'all have tagged me in along with things that I have just seen on TikTok that I would never try in real life, but definitely for y'all because a lot of things look good, but do they taste good? Today we are gonna find out. Before putting anything I want in my body, I'm gonna put what I need in my body. Greens. Plus, greens are the ultimate daily gut health supplement, okay? It also helps clear skin, boost energy, and aids digestion. So make sure for best results, drink greens every day. Let's try to get this video to 10K likes, J-Team. I know y'all can do it. Y'all actually was very close to hitting this goal in the other video, and I appreciate that. Thank y'all so, so much. I randomly saw this on my For You page, so random. Megan Trainer, which I like her music. She's cool. But she made this pizza using rice cakes. And the crazy thing about rice cakes is that I have been eating the um, sweet rice cakes, like the uh, pineapple and cinnamon far as like helping me just stay on track of my health journey whenever I really am craving something sweet. This particular video, it was sponsored by a Quaker's Rice Cakes. And you know, I do it too for a chick. But I couldn't help but to think like, does this actually taste good? I'm sure to some people, but I'm like, it is helping out with the carbs. But does it taste good? We about to find out. I do own rice cakes, y'all. Like the apple cinnamon is definitely my favorite. I did get the um, chocolate. Mm, I don't really like the chocolate too much. I wish I would have just got the um, apple cinnamon. She used the cheddar. I have the plain, cause that's the only one I have. So first you start off with a base. It's all about that base, about that base. You know it's so crazy, like she, she plugged that so well. As a content creator, I can relate. <laughs> Some tomato sauce on here. Oh lord. This this has potential. Um it it does. I think. Some cheese. Some cheese. We're gonna have to put all this cheese. We're gonna need all the help we can get. <laughs> We're gonna need to put the calories back in this thing. And some pepperonis. Some good old pepperonis. You know, I like to have a little bit more cheese on the top. So hold on, let me take a little bit of this cheese and just sprinkle it on top, you know? Yeah, yeah. Let's add some more pepperonis on here. Like I said, we gotta put the calories back in this thing. It does look like a thick crust pizza. A few moments later. All right, so I put it on 19 seconds. Just cause, can you microwave these? Like, this is gonna be really interesting. Really interesting. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's nice and melted. My honest thoughts about this, it is not disgusting, it is not nasty. It's really hard for it to be nasty because the rice cake does not really have any flavor. So really all you're eating is pizza sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. You're not really getting any flavor from the actual rice cake. So it's hard to really say, ugh, this is nasty. It really just creates, honestly, a base. Megan Trainer was perfect for this. For the carbs to be only seven grams, I actually think it actually is pretty good if you really, really, really like pizza. For my folks that's trying to get back into shape, I don't think this is a bad idea. I don't. And it's funny because I really was gonna call heavy cap on this, but it actually don't taste bad. There's no way I was not about to try this combination. I don't even know if this is doing it justice. I will literally drink the juice at the bottom of this when I'm done. It's looking healthy, refreshing. It is hot outside. This just looks good. And when I saw what she added in the mix, I kind of then was like, mm, we'll see. 
baby cucumbers and I did also get the peppers. I actually buy these on the regular, these are good. I got the ginger dressing, the exact one that she has. I made my own chili oil because y'all, it's hard to find some uh, chili oil. Maybe I need to go to Trader Joe's. Everything seasoning, well, bagel not included, everything seasoning. Nice and washed and now it is just time to prep. I am moving fast because I don't know. I'm hungry. I want to eat. I actually hate this cutting board. I hate it. I, I, I don't, I don't like it. I need this to hit. Okay. The girl has still been on her health journey. I've been doing good. I'm using all these peppers. Now, as far as the cucumbers, I'm not trying to overflow this bowl, you know what I'm saying? I'm not familiar with ginger dressing. I'm not, I'm not. So we really gonna see, man, I should already open this. I'm leaving that in. I'm leaving it in. Shake it up. Mmm, it smells pretty good. I low-key want to taste it on its own. Mmm, mmm, okay. Peculiar taste, but it's good. Bagel not included, everything seasoning. I think that's enough. And some chili oil. I made my own. This is what it's giving and a good amount, I assume. Oh my goodness, y'all, I'm so excited to try this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would give this a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10! It's so good. I would eat a whole bowl of this, for sure. The star definitely is that ginger dressing, for sure. As far as the everything, the everything bagel seasoning, I'm not really sure. If you didn't want that, you can use sesame seeds. And a little bit of salt. The homemade chili oil, I don't know the biggest difference between what she had versus what I made. Um, I'm not sure. But what I do know is that this is delicious. So I'll talk to y'all later, hold on. When it comes down to pickles, I trust this girl. She makes a lot of homemade pickles. Enough to know what tastes good, what's a good idea, what's a good combination. We're gonna be trying one of her newest combinations and it was Old Bay seasoning. Yes, Old Bay. I'm making Old Bay pickles, crinkle cut. I'm super excited about these ones. Into the fridge for a few days. I believe I have all of the ingredients for this. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. That's why at the end of this, I'm gonna let you know if it's worth it or not. Cucumbers, fresh dill. Now she did a little something, something. She did like a roll. Let's see if we can get that crunchy sound that uh, she got. Wow. I bet that wakes up the... um. The sweetness, the dillness. She puts some dill in the bottom. Can I just add the whole thing in there? Like, would it really hurt? Would it really? Then add in the cucumbers. Oh, y'all gotta make room. Make room. Green onions. It's all gonna fit, y'all. It's all gonna fit. I need to get me a, a mason jar if I'm gonna continue to make homemade pickles. For real, for real. Okay, dill, cucumbers, green onion. Sit that off to the side. One cup of water, one cup of distilled vinegar. Mustard seed. When I think about mustard seeds, I think about the Bible. Celery seeds, that's different. I don't have any peppercorn, I just have regular pepper. I'm using pink salt for me. Old Bay seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. 
We're not done yet. Maple syrup. That's new, but I'm excited. Mm, smells nice and sweet. How much do we put of this? Let's eyeball it. Bay leaves, and she said this is what's gonna keep it nice and crunchy. Now that's new. I never, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know that. That's a nice little hack there. Bring this to a boil. Yeah, don't forget that good stuff. Make sure it's nice and tight. And you can give it a shake because I know some of the garlic might not go everywhere. So you can give it a shake and then you wait. Okay, so apparently this is the worst hack on the internet right now. I bet $10 this is the dumbest food hack you've ever seen on TikTok. Using a foam soap, a foam foam, Soap. What am I talking about? <laughs> Using a foam soap bottle as a basically like a frother for your coffee. We're trying this. I did start this on TikTok. I did find a soap bottle that had a little bit of soap in it that had like the soap, the foam soap. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm about to try this. Okay. So, foam soap. Make sure you have a foamer. Good news, I have one that is basically almost empty, so we're not wasting all that soap. Just a little, just a little bit of soap. So let me wash this out really, really well. Time to make the coffee, which I have here. Just to speed things up. And, oh, this is so cringy. This is so cringy. Is this even gonna work? I don't know, it's a little too good to be true. Let me make sure all that, oh Lord, please don't let there be any soap in here. I rinsed it out as best as I could. Oh my goodness, get this lid on. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, let me shake it. Let me shake it a little bit. It's working, but it's a lot of work. At least it tastes good. All right, y'all, so it's been a good chunk of time. It's time to taste these Old Bay pickles. Cross my fingers, they taste good because I kind of just feel like I threw everything into a jar, but I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna taste really good. Okay. <sighs> they smell really, really good, okay. Mm. If the juice is good, we know the pickle's really good, so that's gonna let us know. Ooh! Yep. Yep, I'm excited. And I can really taste the Old Bay, so let's go, let's go. <coughs> There's definitely a pickle. It's good, y'all. My eyes are watering because it's so like sour. Woo, and it's spicy. I would recommend this recipe, so go and try it and tag the creator or tag me, it doesn't matter, whatever inspired you to make them. Woo, 
All right, y'all, I'm on the couch. That means I'm tapping out. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Big shout out to the J team. If you want to shout out like them, all you have to do is click subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and let me know below. And that's it. Make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful, and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye.